Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. What I do? Greetings, hello. The mortal empires. How's it going? Wait, does this have okay, Tomb Kings, Vampire, Skaven, Dark Elf, Lizard, and High Elves? Ah, this has like all the races. No wonder. What's up, everybody? Hello. Adverse Aspect, Snedge, Zarakis, Zaykul. The gang's all here. Cats are here. <laughs> Hold on, let me uh, wash my hands real quick. How's it going? What up, miniature games? Firefly. Doom, 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 doom. Yes, they are letting me play the game now. <laughs> so it turns out what I had to do was I had to go to Steam. I had to click Mortal Empires, and I had to, like, actively add it to my game. And then I think that's what worked. But they also gave me a key that unlocks, like, all the DLC. Uh, so, now I have all the DLC as well. I am Tyrion, heir of Anarion. So, that's pretty neat. How's the uh, audio? Is it kind of loud? Because that guy sounded kind of loud. Ooh, we have so many options. Boom, 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 boom. I am Slanish's Oh, it's fine. Okay. Golex Sanita. I'll have this world. Abdutlaksha. Abdutlaksha. What up, comrade? Finishing up the uh, Pinot Noir. Cause the rock one eye. Uh, ooh. You can be a tree man. Master of the wild. You can be a wood elf. Who wishes the gray? Fey enchantress. I never fade. Bloodlow. I am the blood of Lord of the Throg. Oh, these are the Norths. That's pretty neat. Thanks. Let us make doom. The Barrel Legion. Heinrich Kemmler. Countess. Isabella von Karstein. King Vlad von Karstein. My Elmengors. No Manfred von Karstein. I'm death prophet. Oh, the orcs. <laughs> Wars I'm the great green prophet. I'm the prophet. Ooh, you could be Skarsnick. I'm a fan. Dude, he's got... He's got squigs. Oh, my God. <laughs> the crowd's whispering. I'm the slaughterer. I'm the one true king. Ironhide. Ah. Got the dwarves. I am the slayer king. Lord of the England. Bellingar. I am Grombindal. the white dwarf. Grombrindal, the white dwarf. Thorgrim Grudgebearer. Mortis Wolfheart. Gather! Sigmar's will. Balthazar Gelt. Sigmar Grant Gold me Mar the strength. Grim. Sigmar's Emperor will. Emperor Karl Franz. I am the 
<laughs> Archon the Black. The goddess High Queen of Kalita. Grand Hierophant Tata. Setra the Imperishable. I shall submerge Othwan. Silostra Direfin? Ready to cast up! Paranessa Salt Spite. Oh, Pirates. Pirates of Nachtalus. The Vampire Coast. Luther Harkon. So those are like the water ice. dudes. Looks like a Greyjoy. <laughs> Take it, Claw. Engineer. <laughs> Squirt musk of bravery. Rats, rats, rats. The rats. vengeance of Clan Pest. Rats, rats, rats. No one controls Warlord Queen. Kraken Lord of Karen Car. Krakens? The we will drown this world. Keep me or perish. Oath one will be mine. Uh, hey. it's a mine. Gorok. Um, I discovered the game Greedfall. I'll spend this weekend playing it. Nice, dude. I feel like I've heard of that game, but I haven't played it. The Wanderer. Tick tack toe. Teho hanan nan nan nan. Krokgar. Lord Mazda Mundi. It is dusk. Alithanar. Alario. Alario. Techless. Techless. I fight for the greater good. Wow. That's uh. John Tulsar. That's actually a lot of people to choose from. <laughs> oh my god. Mass Report, 20 months. Sup, nerd? Got any games that are releasing soon you're thinking about playing? Honestly, Thanks. not really. <laughs> Honestly, I'm mainly playing, like, I've been having a lot of fun with this Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, but I haven't even played this mode, so I feel like I might like this one a lot more because there's so many different races and lords. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Fuck. They have 20 months, uh, and then I'm hoping Warcraft Remastered comes out soon, and then I'm still playing Classic WoW, so. And then I still got League of Legends stuff. Mm. Uh, Alicia, the 36 months, two days ago I clapped for 35, but now it was me, but now it was me 36 months all along, haha. -ha. Now it was me 36 months. <laughs> Uh, put some credit on nerds, hypers, mama, me as well. He's, uh, nerds, crockies, meatballs, whatever else you want in the chat. Three years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, I, I, I was in the chat for Cody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, people. Allow me to great. There's a lot of DLC. <laughs> yep. Um. I got lucky. And, uh, they gave me a code for all the DLC. A turtle made it to the water. That's pretty neat. Pretty much I was having trouble getting the game to run and they were trying to help me. And then I finally got it to work and they were like, Hey, thanks for trying. Here's a code for everything. And I was like, Nice. <laughs> so that's cool. Including the new stuff. There's so many things to play. Like, Obviously, I want to play the Lizard Men, but I also want to try the Tomb Kings. I also want to try the Orcs. I also want to try um, the Beast Men. Uh, I want to try the Wood Elves. I want to try the big ass tree dude. 
I want to try the Norse. They got some cool stuff. Like, oh my god. Um, top ZM with the Twitch Prime. Thank you. Topsum or Top ZM? I think it's Topsum. Sweet. That's a cool name. There is so much, and you need both games. Yeah, that's what I've heard. You need both games, too. I got Source to get me some special French ciders. That's my goal to this month or next. Oh, shit. That sounds really good. French cider. Do, do, do. The thing is, like... Um... <coughs> Starring units, Croxigors, Sacred Croxigors, Skinks, Saurus, Saurus. Starts campaign with Lord Croak. Oh, shit. Uh, dude, he's a Saurus Sunblood. I know that from playing Warhammer. <laughs> um, hmm. Plus three Saurus. The thing is... Uh, I only got like 40 minutes to play tonight because my internet's been bad all night and there's like thunderstorms still happening. The internet's kind of wonky. And so I always try to like only play. So my goal here is to kind of get used to the game in the next 40 minutes. And uh, so I don't know if I want to play Lizardmen right now because um. I want to do like a full-on campaign with the Lizardmen, so I'll probably do that like tomorrow. But for now, I could try one of the different people. Get the Beastmen. Tree Man. I got me brother. <laughs> got the old uh, Goblin. Um. Tomb Kings, too. Does not serve. Hmm. Seems pretty solid. Join with us, Suitable Climates Mountain? They are very poor relations with the Dark Elves. They have good movement range. All of vampires. Suitable Climate Jungle. Diplomatic. Wait, bad relationship with the Tomb Kings? Isn't he a Tomb King? Oh, followers of Nagash, I see. So he's just a different kind. So he's vampire. He's more of like a vampire dude. I take it. Uh, what game is this? This is Total War Warhammer 2. I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna try the Kemri guy. Comrade with the five gifted subs. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Comrade Luna Shroom gets a sub. Swig Vision Ships gets a sub. Swig Spoony Bard Thanks. gets a sub. Swig Kiwi Amatros gets a sub. Swig and 67 triangles in a row gets a sub. Swig. Thank you, Comrade, for the five gifted subs. I'll drink to that. Thanks. Let's try some Tomb Kings. Mort Inc. with 26, Krendorfer Nerd President. This ad was paid and provided by someone with way too much free time and money. Thank you, Mort Inc. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 6. Swing! Thank you for the 26 months. It's like pouring rain outside still, man. We had like a super lightning storm earlier. Yeah, first I can't play the game, then I finally get the game working and the internet goes to shit. <laughs> uh, which, you know, it's from the lightning and the storm, but the timing is impeccable. I do enjoy rain, Mighty though. Cetra, greatest so don't get me wrong, kings. I love a good thunderstorm. Your civilization lies in mere ruins of its former glory. Oh. Much must be done to restore greatness to your kingdom, and for all to fear your wrath once more. To the north, sire, savage greenskins threaten to raid your lands. They defile your mortuary shrines. Skins. Vengeance must be taken. More greenskins and skaven dwell in savage the mountains to east, sire. They pose a potential future threat. 
while regions further south are already occupied by the Nanskaven Brotherhood, sucking dry what life there still is in the desert. But these, great king, are but more distractions to a grander plan. The Black Pyramid stands guarded for now by a sentinel army. Control it and claim its dark secrets and with it unimaginable power. You are Setra the Imperishable and all shall obey your rule. Rule. <laughs> How they play. Scattered far and wide throughout the world, the books of Nagash, once collected, will grant you great powers and unique rewards. Tomb King factions can recruit units into their armies without the need to pay for their recruitment or upkeep. What the shit? Instead, each unit has a limited initial recruitment capacity, which can be increased by constructing additional buildings. Ooh. Tomb King factions must delve into their past secrets to increase the number of armies or heroes they can field, or enlist the aid of mighty lords from ancient dynasties. Tomb Kings can spend their canopic jars with the Mortuary Cult, where Lich Priests combine them with trade resources to craft magic items or awaken legions of legend. Mighty warriors who can be recruited to battle. Okay, interesting. Uh, Occupy Loot, Razor, Sack for different settlements. Alright. Interesting. Bow before your king. Bow before your king. Recruit units. Oh wait, let's see. So what do we got here? I have to build what something. Uh-oh. What do we got? Unit capacity plus four. Skeleton archers. Skeleton archers sounds good. It also unlocks recruitment of spearmen warriors as well as archers. And I can also build an income thing. Campaign movement range plus five percent for their own army starting their turn in this region. Ooh. Yo, I feel like I need campaign. All I remember from last time I played was you want movement. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get that. Recruit regiment of renown. Wait, okay, so. I can make a chariot. And we'll get some spearmen. Shielded meat shield. Shielded anti-large meat shield. Throw some of those in. Wait, can I get... Okay. Let's do that. Um... Thought I was done for the night, and here I find Krendor. <laughs> Been a while since I caught a stream. How's Seraphon come along? Yo, what up, dude? Seraphon are coming along great. In fact, I've got my Saurus guard uh, ready to get built back here. Ooh! I dropped one of them. Here's some Saurus guard bodies. <laughs> uh, I've actually built a good chunk of my army. And I actually went to Games Workshop today and spent like two hours learning how to play Age of Sigmar. So I now know the basics of how to play. Chameleon skinks are really cool. I didn't even know it. So with chameleon skinks, you can like start with them off the table and then you can like place them on your turn like wherever you want within like nine inches of like another unit or something it's crazy chameleon skinks are great um yeah because they're like camo units essentially and then they can also like pop back out of battle and stuff army capacity one research rate down wait are all these like the same uh, oh, I think they give different things. You know what? I'm just going to do this one. Is it hot? All right. Um, and then... I used my, uh, Carnosaur guy. Uh, let's see. I gotta go fight somebody. Do, 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 do. And I buffed him up with the Skink Priest. And so he had, like, Super Jaws, and then he had some other buff I gave him. So my Carnosaur was, like, legit. Uh, but the manager of the Games Workshop legit was, like, uh... He was kind of just playing, like, a small army just to, like, teach me the game, essentially. So that was neat. Uh... Okay, we're good. How much backseating is allowed? Uh... 
I don't mind, like, suggestions and advice and stuff. The only type of backseating I don't like is like, all right, next turn, here's what you're going to do. Build these units and move here. It's like you're playing the game for me. But I don't mind if people are like, this is the best uh, unit to make, or like, this is good, or like, here's a good strategy, like that type of thing. <laughs> so yeah. I've been enjoying it. It's really cool. I like getting to learn the actual tabletop. It's one of those things where, like, it definitely is like an acquired... I would say an acquired taste, but it's like an acquired learning experience. It reminds me of Blood Bowl a little bit, you know? Like, it just takes some time to get used to. Remember, your units cost nothing. Your limit factors from your buildings. That's right. So I pretty much should always be building units. Long have your kind existed in tormented undeath, mighty lord. Prematurely raised by Nagash's dark sorcery. Rally the undying legions to your banner, and the world can belong to the Tomb Kings once again. Yeah. Let's go, Tomb Kings. Uh, yeah, let's go kill some orcs. Can I recruit more here? Make some more. I think that's about it. Uh, sorry I'll always be going, but I got to at the later time. Hey, it's all good, dude. Yeah, I started really late tonight. I'll be starting some earlier streams, uh, in the next couple days. Today is just unfortunate because my internet was bad. <laughs> I wanted to stream earlier. Mm. Thanks. Alpine with the 14 months. They go the 14 months. Alpine. 14. Flick. They were the 14 months. I've only ever constructed, converted, and painted. Models back when I started Tyranids and now back to Seraphon after many years when I heard a bunch of my friends were into it too. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I feel like most people just do that. It's actually really interesting learning the game, though. There's still some things I don't understand. Uh, I don't really get the... Bravery aspect? Like, you want to roll low on bravery rolls? <laughs> it's weird. I don't... I still don't fully grasp that. And then they can, like, freak out and die or something? I don't. I feel like it's probably really simple to understand, but... Did I play tabletop before it became AOS? I got the models before it did. Back when it was actual fantasy, I had lizard men. But I didn't know how to play the game. Thanks. I was like an 8th grade kid that was just dumb, and I was like, Me no understand. Oh, I didn't even understand how to build them, because I was like, I don't know how to put these metal things together. <laughs> But I still enjoyed it in my, like, you know, dumb mind. I was like, ooh, lizard spin. Um, because you, you know, if you, like, just use your imagination, it's cool. Uh, all right, let's keep marching in. Uh, here we go. Let's go up to the border. And I'll recruit some more. Um... Bravers lay a test for units, see if they run away. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. It was just a confusing mechanic at first. It still kind of confuses me. Uh, I just want to see my new any new wine taste. Hell yeah, dude. I feel that. I enjoy hearing about your alcohol tastes. <laughs> Especially wine. Um, let's see. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I've been trying to watch battle reports and stuff, and that's helped a bit. I got some cool dice. They had, they just did that, like, area, area nautical, whatever the airplane thing is. So I got, like, these cool, like, red orc dice. So I thought those were neat, so I got those. Uh, and I also got the blue one. So I got, like, the pairing. That's pretty neat. 
Because I wanted cool dice, but they had like... There weren't many cool ones, and then these ones are cool, so I was like, sure. I'll get a, the red and the blue. Yeah, the Aeronautica, that's what it is. They do got some cool planes. The top knots. Uh-oh, they're marching. My lord, a rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. Stygos Empire, undead. Where is Stygos? How do I see where Stygos is? Uh, is there like a little thing that shows me? Wait, is this him? The person I'm about to attack? No. Uh... Oh, is this him? Yeah, that's him. Okay. Uh... Yeah. I'm fine with that. I'm marching on this guy anyway. Faction selected is always yellow. Oh, okay. I see. I'm not playing lizard men because I don't have a lot of time tonight. Uh, so I think tomorrow I'm gonna do like a full-on lizard men campaign with the new guy. In fact, I ordered a Saurus Sunblood just because of the new lizard men stuff. <laughs> uh, all right, let's go. I... Wait, how do I... Okay, here we go. Can I recruit outside? No, I can't. Okay. Um... And I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Uh... 40k is much more popular around here, so it'd be more of a pain to find a game for AOS, but can't beat that fantasy feel. Yeah, apparently in the last, like, couple years, a lot of people have gotten into Age of Sigmar, apparently. Apparently there's a lot of, like, 40k people have even gotten into it, since they've made Sigmar and fantasy more like 40k. Like, they all have the circular bases now, they can, like, pile in. So it's, uh, interesting. I mean, I've enjoyed it. Bum, bum, bum. I've avoided looking into it for so long because it killed fantasy lore, but Krendor painting for it got me interested. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, it's one of those things where, like, it sucks that they had to kill off that, but, like, I feel like at first it was probably bad because they kind of just winged it, like, ah, here you go, but now, like, they have actual point systems, like, from everything I've read, it's improved greatly over the last, like, year or two. Redire Angel at the 32 months? Cool. Thank you for the 32 months. Sweet. Thank you for the two months. Um. And the following. Wait. In battle, eliminate a lord belonging to any of the following enemies of Numas. Numas? Numas? Jagged Horn Tribe. And I get Canopic Jars. Okay. Let's go. Balance of power. Uh, it's looking like we should win. Is this an actual city? You know what? I'm just gonna auto do it. We'll win. All right. Nice. Uh, and from what I remember, you wanna occupy, right? I'll fight the next one, don't worry. You wanna occupy, right? I think everyone was telling me to occupy last time. Uh. The old world is cool, and now the handle transition was bad, but the world of AOS is very cool. Yeah, that's what a lot of people have been saying. Occupy, occupy, okay, yeah. Okay, good. Who, uh... I everything. Let's recruit... 
some more warrior spearmen. Second razor if you want money and not just the private. Okay, I see. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I think if I had to learn Warhammer Fantasy, I would probably be very confused. I feel like that's one of the reasons they did reboot it, was it seemed very confusing. <laughs> uh, see, I think they had to make it more casual because... You know, people like me. <laughs> uh, but you know, I don't even think it's a bad thing. I think it was a very complex game. But there's always fans for everything. And I think people got very attached to those fantasy races as well. Like the fact that there's still people like wanting the Tomb Kings to come back. I don't even know why they didn't do the Tomb Kings. It feels like that's such a staple race of Warhammer. I'm sure they'll do it eventually. I'd rather them do the uh, the Seraphon Battle Tome. <laughs> That'd be great. Everybody keeps being like, dude, they're gonna make a new Lizard Men Seraphon Battle Tome like any any month now. And I'm like, uh I hope so. <laughs> a choice of servants, a tomb prince, necrotect, and lich priest enter your throne room and offer themselves in your service. A tomb priest, a necrotech, and a lich priest walk into a bar. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Oh yeah, they got that new skeleton faction they just showed off. They actually look pretty cool. They have like a they have a trebuchet made out of like skeleton people and shit. It looks crazy. Uh, what does a necrotech do? Well, I don't know the difference between all these, so I'm like, which one do I want? Does anyone know the difference between a Necrotech, a Tomb Prince, and a Lich Priest? Or I can take 3,500 gold. I don't know. Um, Necrotech buffs Constructs. Lich Priest casts Spell. Tomb Priest is a melee hero. Oh, okay. Uh, Jester Jeeves, subscribe. Thank you, Jester Jeeves. Click. Thank you very much. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the Lich guy. That sounds cool. Lich Priest. <laughs> Lich Priest. Um, death awaits. Can he... Let's see. Can I recruit... Well... Uh, Lord. Currently, fan max around the Lords and like additional. Oh, through Dynasty. Ah, I see. Well, uh, let's head back down here. I want to get this Lich Priest guy into my crew. Oh, skill points. Campaign movement range, please. I guess I should have done that before I moved. Uh, <laughs> cool. This guy's marching in, so I gotta get back. Um, Mama Mia. So yeah, I've really enjoyed just playing the tabletop game. I never thought I'd actually get into the tabletop game itself, because I was just like, eh, I'll probably just buy some lizard men. You know, build them, paint them, live out my nostalgia, and now I've gotten, like, actually super into building and painting and actually playing the game. So it's pretty neat. I just bought the, uh, I have it right here. I just bought the, uh, Sylvaneth thing. Yeah. I bought the Sylvaneth starter kit. You get a big tree man, you get all the dryads, and you get a branch witch. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the night haunts look really cool, actually. I like them a lot. Yeah, I've gone full in, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, is he going to try to fight me? Maybe not. 
I really like Night Hunt. I was going to buy Bone Splitters, because I really like the Bone Splitter Orcs. And I like the Goblins, too. But, apparently that Battle Tome is supposed to be announced, like, in the next two weeks. You're varying your tactics when maneuvering in the face of the enemy, my lord. So they'll probably, like, do, like, a just starting kit, or, like, a start collecting kit of, like, Bone Splitters and, like, other Orcs and shit. So I'll probably just wait for that and then get the Battle Tome. Uh, da, 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 or a goblin, yeah. I just, I want any of those. Uh, can I get here? Uh oh. Can I get? Let's. Oh, you only get two chariots. Uh. Uh oh. That's a neutral army. Okay. I'm gonna like pull him back a bit. I'm gonna pull him back. Can he join up with them or no? Can I embed a hero? This force already has the max number of units with it. Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, don't recruit that. And then put him in. <laughs> Replenish troops. This action cannot fail. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. Uh, my store doesn't have Skaven, so I might pick up Beastmen. I know you can always just order from the store, and it helps support the store. So I've ordered a lot of stuff at my local store just to help support it. Uh. Yeah, I've enjoyed all the paint. Honestly, if you're like a new painter, contrast paints are legit. Like, as a new painter myself, I love contrast paints. But I also like using the normal paints. Normally what I do is like for skinks and like mass amounts of units, I just start with contrast paints. But then if it's like, you know, a really good model, I'll use contrast on some things like skulls and leather. And then I use like normal paint for the rest. Because that is good to learn how to paint normally, I think. So, I think it's just good to learn everything, and then just kind of, you know, incorporate whatever you want to do. Pretty much anything to get the style you're looking for, I guess, is the best thing to do. Like, I think there's some really, like, I painted a good chunk of my stuff with contrast. It actually looks really good. Uh, especially any, like, lizard scale, like, anything with scales and, like, bones and stuff where it can kind of creep into the crevices. Sup, Crendor, do you watch animations? If you do have any suggestions, I can recommend Sword Art Online Real Treat for Gamers. Oh, I don't watch anime. <laughs> um, well, I've watched, like, four anime in the last five years. Uh, yeah. God of Scholars reveal secret, even lost, and more sure cult due to us. And then this race now available to perform via rights panel at the bottom right. Okay. Rights. Wait, it costs 5,000? Ay, ay, ay. A casket of souls unit will become available for recruitment in any army. Armored, armor piercing missiles, light of death, magical artillery. Lord Recruit rank plus three. Recruit rank plus two for all units. How much money do I have? How much do I have? Oh, I have 9,500. All right, screw it. We'll do it. Okay. Uh... Let's upgrade the city. Um... Printers make me want to get into it again. Painting seems easy now. Mixing my own heat. Yeah, painting's definitely a lot easier with all the shit they've got now. Yeah, I just spray paint them, like, outside. <laughs> just don't spray paint them in your house. That's, like, you need, like, a ventilated area. Uh, oh, yeah, earth shades and shit like that are really good. All right, let's see. Let's go fight this guy. Da-da-da-da-da. da 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 ding 
Oh my god, I'm gonna crush this guy. Alright, let's fight, let's fight. <laughs> let's fight this one. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, I've really enjoyed getting into it. I'm glad I got back into it. It's definitely been, uh, very fun. I was mentioning how I wish, like, TB was still around, because I feel like he'd be really into, uh, me getting into Warhammer. <laughs> he'd be very excited. Even though he was more 40k, I feel like he'd probably like Age of Sigmar where it's at right now. Uh, risk magic for favorable wins. I'm a gambling man. Ooh, very nice. All right, not like I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna steamroll this guy. Uh, how are we looking? Analyze the terrain. Taking a look here. It appears we're on a uh, flat land. <laughs> well, it's kind of hilly, but we're fighting on the flat land. Thanks. TV gave me my interest for 40k, but I'm more like you and like fantasy, obviously, I like humanoid animals. Well, that's my thing. Like, I think 40k is cool, but I just prefer fantasy races and fantasy, like, swords and magic and shields and, like... I'm not a big, like, incorporating guns and, like, robots and stuff like that, or even vehicles and everything. Like, I prefer the, uh, I prefer fantasy stuff, so that's just me. Azura the Peacock, 35 Your months. marches into battle with great powers, my lord. They were the 35 sure months, Azure. Use of them. Uh, like almost a three year shit, dude. Always gamble if it's below 15. It's just a reroll, so you're statistically better off gambling if you're below 15. Oh, okay. So you should just automatically do that, I see. TB's interest 40k is what brought me to his channel to begin with and spread from there to me ending up here. Wowee. The Circle of Warhammer. <laughs> Woo! Let's march. Actually, let's send these guys here. Hit that. What kind of magic stuff can I do with this guy? Shem's Burning Gaze. Minor magical... Wait, causes minor magical and fire damage. Good against armor, good against large combatants. Shortcut. Wait, okay, so do I have to pick where I want to do this? Oh, I do. Let's do it right here. <laughs> They're just running away. What the shit? Look at this guy. The War Sphinx! <laughs> oh my god. Go War Sphinx! <laughs> Holy Jesus. Got my chariots. Can this guy do anything? What is this? Uh... Ally climbing, weapon damage, armor piercing. Oh yeah, buff the uh, buff the war sphinx. Your warriors are rallying. Oh yeah, here's the uh, the chariots. Go chariots. Chariots, run these guys down. Go get them, go get them. Ho oh, oh. ho. Uh. Oh my god, War Sphinx, go get him. You're using any kind of chariot, push J to make the unit retreat about 50 meters about face. Wait, so J. Is that like a button here? J. Oh, I see. 
take it. Oh, I see. So you go in, and then you hit J and pull them back, and then you send them in again. It's like they charge. I get it. Woo! Fight, fight. Oh, God, I can't click properly. Uh-oh. Uh oh, God, go get these. Let's, uh, who do I want to hit here? Hit these guys. I want to see this happen. Here we go, here we go. Victory! Come on, hit him with the magic. Get out, boys. <laughs> oh, shit, run down. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, ha -ha <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. run them down. Nice. So if I hit J, then they'll be like. Yeah. Nice. Uh, cool. Lost 29 units. The icky iron jaw. <laughs> icky. Um. Uh, you make me want to stop my Nakai game and play Tomb King. <laughs> There's like so many I want to play now because now I have all the DLC. So I want to like, I think Tomb Kings are cool. I want to try the giant wood elf tree guy. I want to try the chaos beast because I have the chaos beast, so I like them. And I want to try the new uh, the new lizard men DLC. There's like so much shit I want to do. And then I want to play the goblins. Victory is yours, my lord. But what about the fate of those captured in battle? It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality can be worth more. All right. Execute them. Execute them. Wait, so you get... Sintra is merciful. Treasury 470, your army will gain the following effect. Endless march. Campaign movement range, 20%. Oh my god. Oh, it's for two turns. Uh, valuable organs cannot be left. Dirty cannot be jars. Or unit replenishment. Uh, what's the best out of all these? Like, I know campaign movement's good, but it's only two turns. But I also get money. Cannot be jars. I feel like I don't need that one, because I'm already pretty full health. I kind of just keep saying lines over and over. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Execute them. I guess this would be good. The march. I have no use for Can I have the is best long-term choice? Yeah, I guess this is like long-term and this is like short-term. I'll just take the jars. Uh, if you don't intend to play this campaign very long, you won't need... That's true. I probably should have just taken the other one. <laughs> So I'm not going to be playing it much longer. Uh, hey, I leveled up. Icky Iron Jaw is dead. Okay. Got the aura. What does this do? Imbued with the essence of the gods of death. Nekarian's blade. Nehekron's blade. Strike with supernatural force. Harvest souls for DF. 20 weapon damage, 20 armor piercing damage, 16 bonus versus large. Interesting. Okay. And that lead. God, there's like so many things. 
And then that's charge bonus leadership. Then these are just like generic. Uh... That's one canopic jar per turn. Income from raiding, public order. I feel like lore, the leadership one's always really nice. So I'm gonna take that. Okay. Great of Kings. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I also have. Uh, I've showed this before. I have the Squig Herd. <laughs> I literally bought the Squig Herd just because I thought they looked cool. And uh, I almost solely bought it for the the bagpipe guy. <laughs> And for the uh, goblin being eaten by the squig. Those were the two selling points for me. So I'll build those at some point. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think those are very worthy reasons. Um, all I know is in that last Blood Bowl match I played that one troll ate the town drunk and it was the most fitting ending to my season Squigs can be any color you want. That's true. I mean, lizard men can be any any color you want too. Uh, the king of kings. Let's get on this mountain. this map uh pretty big okay <laughs> all right Doo -doo -doo. let's upgrade that um you should play scars nick in this game he's a teensy goblin a massive pet squig yeah i saw him i want to play as him too So what's the difference between the other campaign and the Mortal Empires campaign? Is it just there's more races in the Mortal Empires campaign? And a different map, I take it. Yeah. Mortal Empires includes the right side of the map. Oh, I see. Okay. That makes sense. Warhammer 1 and 2 smashed together. Oh, that makes sense why you have to have the first one installed then. And also why it takes forever to go through uh, <laughs> all the uh, all the factions. I do like the amount of different Factions there are though, like there's so many options, like god damn. When three comes out, we get the eastern half of the world as well. When's that coming out? Total Warhammer 3. Uh Total Warhammer 3, plan third game. Uh 
Oh, so it's announced, but it's literally nobody knows anything yet. You don't need one installed, you just need to own it. Oh, okay, well, I installed it for no reason. <laughs> this one will have to do. Lich Priest. Uh, Shem's Burning Gaze. Wait, doesn't he already have that? Or am I thinking of something else? Increase armor piercing damage, cause minor magical... I feel like he already has that one. Or is it just an upgraded version? That's gotta be what it is, right? Like an upgraded version of it? Uh... Oh, it is the upgrade, okay. Dum, 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 dum. Replenish, cleanse corruption, damage building. Generate a jar. Additional 4% chain. You know what, I'm just gonna upgrade that, screw it. Bum, 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 bum. You can overcast spells to do upgrade versions that have a miscast chance. Ah, I see. Um, yo, let's go, uh... Actually, I don't think I can get there yet. Wait, who is this? Bloody Hands, neutral night goblin shaman hero. Alright, let's start marching towards this. Do not stop. Do, do, do. Uh, okay. Wait, can I build a thing here? Yes, nice. Let's build a... Uh, uh, construction... Wait, infrastructure. Sorry, I got that. Growth. Public order. Uh, basic military. I guess I could also get that. Income. Is close. Yeah, I'll get that. Honestly, I feel like Warhammer and Total War just fit really well together. As a series. Like, I think it's really cool seeing all the Warhammer units just kind of come to life through the game. Because, you know, you play the actual tabletop or you build the units and do stuff and you're like, Hey, I have a Bastilladon. He is a big boy. And then you see him in the game and he's like, uh, and he's like tail whapping rats and like, pound, like doing crazy shit. And you're like, oh my god, that's what he does. <laughs> You know? I think Vermintide makes the Skaven look crazy. Yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> they're kind of crazy, but I don't think they're like that crazy. Well, I mean, they are crazy, but... I mean, they're they're essentially making nukes, <laughs> you know. So you know. Uh, <laughs> what other Total War games have I played? Oh my god, I've played Total War like since the start. I didn't play Shogun Total War, but I played the first Medieval Total War when I was in like seventh grade. <laughs> I played. Rome Total War, when it came out. I was a freshman in high school. I played Empire Total War, Medieval 2 Total War. Thanks. Uh, Rome 2, I didn't really play, because it was bad. Um, I enjoyed the Three Kingdoms. Um, honestly, my favorites are probably uh, Medieval. Medieval's probably my favorite one, just not all of them. Medieval and Medieval 2. Probably more Medieval 2, because it's like an improved version. Uh, the original Rome Total War I loved. Uh, oh yeah, Napoleon. I played a little bit of Napoleon. I wasn't a big Imperial Total War, or Empire Total War person. It was okay. And then uh, Warhammer is probably my second favorite. 
right behind Medieval. I never played the Attila one. Burial. Uh, plus 10 for infantry units. 40 canopic jars. Uh, for 10 turn. You know what? I'll take that. Attack! I did play Shogun. Uh, I played Shogun too, yeah. Uh, oh, this is pretty even. Alright. Wait, what are these total labor force? Labor force available. Small labor you can use for to construct siege engines. So I have no. This is the thing. I hate attacking cities. Like, I'm the worst at actually attacking cities with, like, armies. I don't know why. I'm just bad at it when I actually fight the battles. Some an auto dude. Hey, we won. <laughs> I did it. Right, unlock. Hooray. Uh, Pyrrhic victory. Emerald ID with the 19 months. Hello, Crendor Lurk. What up, dude? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Swing. Uh, let's see. Wait, we have made a great discovery. During the course of excavation, remains of the army that once served Al Kadizar, the conqueror, the last, and maybe the greatest of all the priest kings of Nekara, been earned earth. It would take a little magic to raise them our service. We should do it. Uh, wait, so I only have one option? Or wait. How do I do that? Can I not even use the remains? Eh. Uh, how are we looking? So there's these guys all around this. Oh, I already did it? Oh, well, <laughs> that makes sense then. Um. All right, but, uh. Time is oh my god, it's almost 2 30. All right, I'm probably gonna be done now. <laughs> uh, I want to just do a short stream to get used to everything. The shit is this Skaven? Join the war against the top knots. Their demands 200 gold. Oh, I'll give you 200 gold to join the war. That's super thunder outside. Uh, watch the internet go to shit again anyway. Um... Mamma Mia. Uh, so the plan is, I mainly just wanted to play this, make sure it was working, that I actually got it working and do all that. So I have, and that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I like this. So tomorrow... I want to play the new Lizardmen DLC. That's my plan for tomorrow. I want to do a Lizardmen DLC campaign. And see how far we can get. <laughs> um, so that'll be good. And then, uh... Maybe I'll do a little Classic WoW as well. I know Benji wants to run Zulfarak, so I'll probably run ZF with Benji. Um, so I think what I'll plan to do is I'll probably do, like, an earlier stream for some Classic WoW, and then later at night. Or actually, no, maybe I'll do early Warhammer, later Classic WoW. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure something out. How'd I fix my problem? So it turned out I had to go to the... Mortal Empires DLC, which it said I had installed. And I had to click download, and then it installed it, even though it said it was installed on the thing. So I was like, this makes absolutely no sense. But sure, why not? And then it worked. <laughs> it's like, why would it why would it tell me that it was installed when it wasn't installed? Um Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Camry 
Swag Town, Swaggy Town, USA. Okay. Nice. All right. So, <laughs> playing Lizard Men will fit your right click the enemy strat nicely. Nice. <laughs> that makes me very happy. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry this was a short stream, but at least we got the game working. So that was half the battle of the last, like, three days. Uh, if you're new here, click the follow button, follow along. I play this game, I play WoW, I do Warhammer painting streams. It's great. Uh, thanks for everybody who subscribed, resubscribed, drop bits, drop tips, gifted subs. And uh, check out all the links below the stream. So thanks for watching this chill short stream, and I will see you tomorrow for longer streams. Okay? Okay. See ya.